If you're using an enterprise social network or thinking of using one for innovation, then this presentation's for you. Innovation can be formal. We partner with companies like Bright Idea and Spigot. We take you through the idea management lifecycle more formally. Um, and uh, on the other hand, you can do it in, a, in something like Yammer more informally, serendipitously and socially. Um, ideas can be created and discussed and shared very informally and very easily. You can do it inside the organization and outside, amongst employees only, for instance, or you can invite customers and partners in to collaborate with you. And there are other things to consider, of course, as well. So we um, enable uh, external collaboration with customers and partners, for instance, with something called external networks. You can create an external network of your main network. It's when you go to create a group that you will see this option. Uh, and essentially, you can invite um, these external partners in. You can crowdsource new ideas, speed up time to market and engage in two-way communication with partners and customers. And, you know, essentially we, um, we help companies do this. Xerox is a great example where they're doing it uh, so that employees can save time, improve visibility, etc. We've got a very informal program around innovation and I'm going to take you through this very basically. Starting off with some, um, you know, essential training for users to get them up to speed with Yammer, you could then dive into more specific innovation support with a kickoff session, how to use groups for um, ideas and how to progress ideas very basically, even going so far as to look at um, proposals and progressing proposal and actual idea implementation. So in this demo, I'm going to start with an overview of how ideas could be created in the all company feed, um, sharing all ideas with all members of the organization. Essentially, uh, here's an idea, it's been uh, tagged with a topic, market share in this case, if that's very important to the organization. If you go to search uh, and look for that topic, you'd see that it, it existed. You'd find all ideas with that topic. Um, if we continue the search and look for other topics, we see that cost reduction is another such topic with all ideas tagged with that being found. And then you could see that a group uh, existed as well. Uh, if an idea merits it, you could create a group around it. Here we're looking at the cost reduction group. If we scroll down to the bottom, we see that um, an initial discussion may have sparked off the, 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 uh, the idea. And then if there was enough discussion around it and merited this group, you go on to explore the idea further and all other ideas are added to that group. You could then very simply using our note function, create a, a kind of an idea evaluation template. Um, this would be nothing more than for instance, um, some questions that could help that you could use to help flesh out ideas, for example. So thank you very much. Any more questions, just ask.